Tonight, one Buenas Noches Pepperine affiliate may finally get the cup he's been needing since his Little League days. And students report getting wetter than usual. Mm. All this and more on Buenas Noches Pepperdine Season 2.5. My name is Armando Yi. And I'm Amber Scholl, and you're watching Buenas Noches Pepperdine, the only news show you should be watching after 4 p.m. Absolutely. Let's begin this session with some breaking news in and around the community. In breaking news, our very own Dick Starr has entered the race for the highly prized, highly regarded, highly coveted, the most notable award, Spirit Cup King. News of the Time Warner cable sports anchor, Dick Starr, Entering the race for this prized cup came via one mysterious USC female last Sunday morning, right around church time. Will Dick Starr win the cup? Will he come out on top or on bottom? You can help Dick Starr win the cup by going to www.facebook.com slash dickstar. And we need Dick Starr to win that cup. It's essential for his well-being and for our well-being. But with the weekend rapidly approaching, Pepperdine students have found themselves with very little time to prepare for the return of, quote-unquote, the Big Willie which of course means Waves Weekend. Students in the past have gone to drastic measures to cover up their new amenities that they have found while on their own away from home. And this year it's been no different. The numerous self-storage unit facilities in the area have reported mass amounts of students seeking temporary weekend rentals for this coming weekend. Managers have spotted everything you could possibly imagine, including paraphernalia, illicit posters, questionable reading material, assorted hardware, and even life-size dolls. While Parents Weekend may be a jubilous time around the Malibu campus, it is just as terrifying for select groups of questionable characters such as our very own Bobby Black. Recent changes in the climate around the Malibu campus have found the normally dry feeling more moist. With more wild weather changes in the past few weeks, Pepperdine experienced a minor break from its dryness with a downpour of moisture around campus. Our very own graphic newspaper reported that spots on campus were wet and gushing for mm. better parts of the last week's mm -hmm. Wednesday, a change-up for the usually extremely dry grounds of Pepperdine. Al thought it made a splash for the time being. This wet period has since moved on. And in more academic news, it's midterm season, my friends, and I hope this doesn't come as a shock to you, but if so, we have a few little reminders that will help you stay calm, cool, and collected in the coming weeks. Number one, remember to get plenty of rest. If your test is next Thursday, be sure to sleep in during the two class meetings before to ensure ample brain function. Number two, eat properly. Jack in the Box is open 24 hours, so for that guaranteed all-nighter, be sure to pay that fine establishment with that skeletal-looking man a visit once Paces closes its doors at 3 a.m. And lastly, very important, exercise. Working up a little sweat with your friends, your significant other, or even by yourself will greatly improve your mood and help you survive midterms. Just a little tip from your friends here at Buenas Noches Pepperdine. This just in. Famous inventor and business mogul Steve Jobs has passed away. Jobs will go down in the books for his invention of the next computer, among other Apple Blur-related products. Our reporter Bita Eschke went down to Pepperdine University's main campus to see how students are coping with this unforeseen loss. Hi, I'm Bita Eschke here with Buenas Noches Pepperdine. Recently, Steve Jobs passed away, so we're going to go around asking Pepperdine students what they would do or say to him if they had the chance. If you had Steve Jobs right here, right now, what would you do to him? I, I don't know. I think I would just give him a big hug. And Jeannie, if you could do one thing right here, right now to Steve Jobs, what would it be? Uh, say thanks. I love my iPod. Hi, so what's your name? Simon. 
And Simon, do you know who Steve Jobs is? No. Well, if Steve Jobs was here, what would you say to him? Mm. Well, thank you. I would say thank you for all the great Apple products that he's created because I'm in love with my iPhone and my Mac, so I would say thank you. Do you have any Apple products? I have an iPad and an iPhone. If you could return one of those Apple products, which one would it be? The iPad. Why? It's just kind of unnecessary. I just never use it. so I'd probably tell him about that too. And if Steve Jobs was here right now, what would you do to him? Oh, uh, and I could talk to him? You could talk to him, you could say anything, do anything, what would you do? Uh, I'd probably thank him for the, uh, I guess, many like technological innovations he's given to the world um, and just kind of, I don't know, you know, kind of like be, you know, admirable towards him. He's a really, you know, prominent figure in today's society, so just kind of uh, give him some thanks. Tell him what's up. Thank you, Stephen. And thank you, Beta. That was a very nice Tiffany bracelet you were wearing. There's no question some people were devastated by the loss of our very own Steve J. But now we go into the classic roundtable discussion of some graphic content here on Buenas Noches Pepperdine. <laughs> With us today, we have brand new panelists. First off, we have the very own, the very sensual, Amber Scholl. <laughs> Amber, where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Which part? Scottsdale. Oh, Ooh, yes. Dick Star's Scots. favorite. Yeah, Scots, my favorite. Yeah. And of course, straight from New Zealand, she may have just gone off the boat right now. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not sure. Camilla Noesa Hansen. Hello. Camilla, how are you tonight? I'm excellent. How are you? How long have you been in the United States, Camilla? Um, a mere three hours. Oh, <laughs> very fresh. Let's not waste any time. Let's cut <laughs> into the DPS reports. Let's start with the first one. Here we go. Incident was called suspicious circumstances. A student reported seeing two males carrying a female from Towers to Tower lower, to Lower Dorm Road. Public safety searched the surrounding areas, but the individuals were not found. We may have gotten some footage of this on Buenas Noches Pepperine. Let's take a look at the footage. Dicks are unbelievable. Supposedly they were hauling them off towards Lower Dorm Road, but apparently they were all the way from the CCB. That means they must have been <laughs> hauling them from the CCB down towards Lower Dorm Road. Let's start with Camilla. What would you do, Camilla, if you were in that situation between those two men? What would you have done? Um, I would have highly enjoyed it, actually. Oh. Just don't have to walk. They can carry me. Mm -hmm. But um, by the looks of the video, she looks a little, uh, she definitely wanted it. D-Star, what does that video do to you? Uh, that makes me feel extremely comfortable, and I feel, um, right now, feel good about it. I feel like I want to be carried by those men as well. Don't you? And Amber, would something, uh, would I be one? Absolutely. As Camilla said, I'm with her right there. She looked comfortable. She looked like she was enjoying it, even. She may have been, even been enjoying it. not really sure what the problem was, but anyways. Yeah. Amber, do you see a problem? I, who no. called DPS on those guys? I know. I, I think mean, it was Nate B. Someone who was very jealous, yeah. actually. Of what? Of being carried by two suspect-looking yeah. males, of course. Suspect to you, suspect to some others. I Potentially. Say. Let's move on to DPS number two so we can get Amber from Arizona Scottsdale involved in here. Scottsdale. A student reported an individual <laughs> carrying a machete. Public safety determined that the individual was with the facilities management, the landscaping crew. We may have had f footage of this. I don't know how we get this footage, but let's take a look at it. Amber, what does this do to you? I mean, that happens to me all the time in my dorm, so I'm used to it at this point. Mm. It, that, nothing really, got nothing. 
Miss Hansen from New Zealand? Um, I'm going to say to each his own. I mean, I carry around my rabbit all the time. Why can't he carry around his machete? For right? those of uh, the viewers that don't know, what exactly is a rabbit, Camilla? It is a device one uses in one's own time to relieve stress or yes. feelings. Oh, is that like the one that tempur uh, Exactly. Yeah, Brookstone, yeah. Exactly, I have yeah. yeah. In my no, I love it. It's yeah. great. I bought one in Sky I feel awesome. And especially afterwards. right now, midterms are coming right up. <laughs> Who doesn't need one of those massagers that will probably help you? What is it called again? The rabbit. Oh, okay. Sold so at Brookstone. Brookstone Brothers, I probably. So, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. 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 Not a machete, though. That's Not something else. Not cheap either, but, you know, it's well worth it. Not cheap? No. How much does one go around? Around for? 120 to 150. 120 Ooh, for a lot. just a simple stress reliever. It's a small price to pay, is all I have to say. Small price to pay for something huge. Exactly. As a stress reliever. <laughs> Finally, let's go on to this DPS report number three. Here it is on September 15th, 2011. <laughs> A solicitor was attempting to sell cosmetics on campus. A solicitor, someone's trying to sell stuff. A public safety officer warned him of trespassing on private property, and he was finally escorted off campus. Uh, actually, Amber was able, she did something to the DPS uh, guys, and we were able to get the footage. Let's take a look at this footage from uh, the solicitors. They said, "Oh, you have lovely hair. Would you like to come to my free hair salon?" No, it's, it's quite all right. No, but it's free. Why is it free? I mean, like, oh, you could just use it. Oh, get off hey, me. I, Hey, listen, I'm just saying you could just come to my free hair salon. Come on, oh, what, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Dude, what are you doing? Get off. You know what? You know what? Forget you. As your roommate, where would I take it? A hair salon? Yes, free. What does your hair look like? Mmm, this is only the, the eye of the beholder, babe. You can't check this out. Mm, this is this is my eyes only, so you guys are Do you have any pictures of what you do? I don't just let anybody touch my hair. See, but that's the whole point of it. Yeah. It's just exciting because yeah. I can just do whatever I want. What about what I want because it's my hair? I don't care about what you want. Just come to the store. Yeah. Amber, would you ever buy some products from that suspicious looking man they call Bobby Black? Absolutely. Uh, yes. Is he, that where you got your makeup actually? Yes. Is that the guy that sells yes, it? Yes, I bought over two hundred dollars worth of makeup from him. Oh, jeez. Yes. Who could have called the DPS on him then? I feel like people are it's a popular thing to do. Why not? I mean, I don't it was you? It was, it was me. I called him because I've seen him and I don't like it. I think it's pretty smart, though. I'm definitely though. in favor of this. I mean, there are a lot of people on campus that could do with a little makeup selling, too. Oh, what do you yeah, mean? You, you're saying that some people need makeup, <laughs> and you, you want to... Why not? I mean, you want to look at people that are attractive. I don't really want to so. Who doesn't? Oh. That's right. And exactly. that guy, especially, he looked like the perfect cosmetic salesman, exactly. honestly. Yeah, who, he looks who, great. Yeah. I think I've seen him before in the Union Station parking lot, I'm I think pretty he's sure a, it's the same one. I'll buy some cosmetics from him right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, after the break, basketball superstar Jasmine Jackson will be joining us. Yes, she will. For an intimate conversation. Oh. We'll be right back. And we are here, back in Balls and Holes. This is uh, this is episode two, Jasmine. It's nice to have you here. Uh, welcome to Balls and Holes. This is the Balls and Holes Den, is what we like to call this now. Um, first of all, I want to get to know you. You know, just let the people know out there what you're about, what position you play on the team, mm -hmm. and how the season's going to go this year in your in your uh, in your mind. Well, my name is Jasmine. I'm a shooting guard for Pepperdine, and I feel like we're going to have a really good season. Mm -hmm. We have a nice freshman class that just came in, and we have a lot of underclassmen that are going to do a lot for our team this year. Nice. I think we have a photo of Jasmine we could put up on the, uh -oh. on the screen behind us. We can see what Jasmine looks like on the court. We get that switch right now. We'll see. Well, first of all, Jasmine, I like to – there you are right there. That's versus Kansas, looks like. I don't know what you're doing there. It looks like you're getting a rebound. looks like you're kind of uh, – to do Might be dance. fouling. Might be fouling. I don't know if that's a, some illegal contact there, but we'll let it go. All right, Jasmine, we're going to get straight to the chase. We're going to interview mm -hmm. in a couple seconds, but right now I want to see how knowledgeable you are about your WCC conference. And what we're going to okay. do is we're going to put images on the screen. And I'm gonna, okay. they're going to be up schools, and you're going to tell me what school you think that is in the WCC. So first of all, let's show the first image of what school Jasmine will be looking at. Do you know what school that is? Um, it looks like USD. Ooh, that is right. That's, a, that's the Torero. That's where the Toreros go. That's very good. She's one for one. Let's see how she does on the next one. Ooh, where is that? Um, oh, my goodness. I'm seeing you've been there at least three times, so you should know. Have I? Uh, is it USD again? Maybe USD again. Um, who else is in our league? <laughs> Let's see. Um, LMU. Close, but we're going to go with Santa Clara on this one. It's a little oh bit up north. And we have one more. We have two more, actually. We're going to see this next one. A little bit different. It's a nighttime look, in, look at it right there. Very nice, very oh Catholic school. We can kind of give it away. Catholic almost. school. Up north as well. USF? Yes, Safe. it is. That is San okay. Francisco. That okay. is it. That's, she's two for three. Now, this is the hardest one. Who is, what school is this? 
Where um, would we find this person? Pepperdine. <laughs> oh, no, no, this is actually Adam Morrison from Gonzaga. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So she's two of four, not bad. Very, you know what? Average athlete probably only knows one of eight. You know, mm -hmm. now we have BYU in here. Uh, we actually have some footage of, uh, of your guys' team from last year. We're going to play some of that, and then we're going to go ahead and get the interview started. So we'll take the full screen okay. video of Jasmine and friends playing basketball last year versus UC Santa Barbara. <laughs> Back at the interview set, this is my friend behind you, Armando Yee. Please don't look at him, he's behind you. Yes. He's here to ask you some serious, serious questions, and uh, we're gonna get right to it, Jasmine. First of all, we already saw that you're very intelligent when it comes to your knowledge of the WCC basketball. My first question is, how do you feel about the NBA lockout? Do you think there's gonna be a season? Do you even really care? No, I don't really care. I don't really watch the NBA. Oh. <laughs> Jasmine, let me ask you this question while you were with Dick Star. You mentioned the very nice freshman class that you're encountering. Can you speak a little bit to the highs of that class and the lows? What? <laughs> um, they're very athletic, mm. and they're very smart in the classroom as well. Ooh. And I don't think they have that many lows. Oh, good to know. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, sp speaking of lows, I mean, we know some lows here on BNP. Jasmine, what has been the lowest point in your career at Pepperdine? Maybe the worst loss, your worst personal game? Maybe mm -hmm. the lowest point you've had in a practice where you've been thrown out of, you know, out of the practice? How, what's been the lowest of your low? Um, I would have to say against USF, we mm. were supposed to beat them, but we lost by 20 Ooh. at their house, so that was pretty low. Jasmine, could you speak a little bit about your pre-game rituals? What do you do to get so loose right before a game? <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, I take a nice little nap, Ooh. eat some food, mm. you know, some fruit mainly, mm. and then stretch, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty loose mm. before the game. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hey, it's important. We don't want any injuries. Now, Jasmine, another good question we have for you regarding basketball mm -hmm. is the time you spend with your friends, aka teammates, off the court. Where can we find you? If I'm looking for you, if I'm if I'm peeping on you, like if I'm walking around, following you around, not peeping in that way, but like following you to class. After class, where would I follow you to? Like, you know, are you going off campus? Are you living on campus? Do you hang out at the beach? Still on the basketball court all day? Where are you going? Um, well, I live on campus, but I'm mm. usually in Towers in Robbie's mm -hmm. and Ia's room, so you can find us there. Ooh. Jasmine, you mentioned you live in Towers. Let me throw this scenario at you. You walk into your room and you see Dane Suttle, of course, men's <laughs> basketball star, with a basketball in your room. What do you do? Oh, my goodness. Um, we might play catch, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Watch a movie. <laughs> oh, I see. Very nice. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine, we don't know if you're familiar with the the Pepperdine abodes we did last year, it's basically Cribs edition for Pepperdine Buenos Noches. We went through Dane and Lauren and, and uh, Dennis when he was still here, <laughs> went through their abode. If we walk through your room, what would we find? What would you want us to see in there? You know, what is something, Jasmine, that people don't know about you? You would find a really clean room. Ah. You would find a nice sized TV. Ooh. You would find Carmelo Anthony all over the walls. Ooh. And you probably wouldn't find anything else related to basketball. Interesting. One more, Ayi? Yeah, one final question, Jasmine. How, mm -hmm. how big do you like your TV, Jasmine? You <laughs> mentioned it's a considerable size TV. How many inches? <laughs> um, I would have to say... I if like. you know, maybe you don't know. You know what? Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna, I don't know. What do you say? Upwards of 30? Uh, that's a little big. Oh. Maybe a little okay. small. Uh, you know, one last question for me, Jasmine, uh, before we wrap this interview up. Mm -hmm. uh, you're looking forward to the season. I know this Blue and Orange Madness is coming up, or Orange and Blue, however you want to call it. What are you going to do for the dunk contest? Um, On the eight-foot court, of course. It's a secret. I was thinking more of like 360, maybe a couple cartwheels Ooh. in the air. I don't know. It's wow. Yeah, wow. I haven't decided yet. Do you miss Keon Bell yeah. not being here for that dunk contest? Uh, no, he took my shine. Ooh. I think you'll be the next Keon Bell with show us your <laughs> flexibility, the looseness. <laughs> Interesting. All right, we're going to go to a break. Thank you, Jasmine, for coming in. Again, you Thank survived you. the balls and holes then, and we will be back after this break.
That was Jasmine Jackson, catch for this Friday at the Waves Weekend. Guys, what did we think of that interview? Pretty interesting, right? I can't wait to see her out there handling the business. business. Yeah, exactly. handling the, keeping the yeah. fort down. I think it's going to be big. I think it's going to be yeah, huge. huge. It's going to be yeah. massive. Exactly. Camilla, are you going to go to the game? Absolutely. You are, aren't you? I am. Mm. Speaking of the game, let's talk a little bit about the calf. How frequently do you go to the calf, Camilla? Do you go there pretty frequently? Um, I try to go there as little as often, mm -hmm. actually. I haven't been there this mm. whole year. I've been there once or twice, and let me tell you, the foods look pretty delicious. Amber, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I'm a freshman. I, you I go like there it. I go a lot. Quite a bit. How big is yeah. your meal plan? Do you have that $3,000 meal no, plan? No, I have the tiny meal plan. But, oh. Um, I, I think I've used almost all of it. We so. speak, stick oh. to oranges and, and uh, apples as meals. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Our own very own Alvin Jang went to the cafe to eat some of the most exquisite food the Waves Cafe has to offer in this brand new segment we like to call Comida Grande Tiempo. Food big time. Buenas noches, Perp9. This is Alvin Jang speaking for Comida Grande Tiempo. And right now, I'm going inside to get my stomach filled with manly hipster vegetarian food. Irony right there. Let's get it on! Woo! Look at all this food, all of it. Because here in Pepperdine, we eat everything, all this vegetarian stuff. Wheat buns all over this grill. And that. Lettuce. More lettuce chips. Lettuce chips. Lettuce chips. More lettuce chips. Lettuce. So much lettuce. Next. We get more bread. A chow right there. And every man needs protein in his diet. Look at all this beautiful stuff. I don't even know what that is, but I'm gonna add it. Bread. Now we've got our stuff. It looks I'm colorblind. I don't even know what this is, but it looks colorful, so I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, feel the stink between my fingers. Rub it in. Got that juicy yogurt all over my sauce here. Oh yeah. Next, I'm gonna top it off with all of this bread. Ciao. All this. All this. Top it all off. I love the smell of fresh nuts. <sighs> My great uncle once told me how to do this. You gotta use this knife. I go like a boss. There you go. That's how you do it. Alvin Jank speaking for Buenas Noches Pepperdine. Next time, we eat Thick Star. Some truly questionable ingredients in there, Alvin. But very nice report. I've actually had some food that looks worse than that from the calf. Camilla, what does that video do to you? Speechless. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I know. I there just are... can't. I have no words. Amber, do you star? After seeing that banana go down, and what about when he sniffed those cashews? I, yeah, I have no words. Unbelievable. No words. Alvin, even, only even Alvin from BMP would do something else. But speaking of Alvin and the car segment we had last week, here we go again. 
Matt Maxwell once again went out and saw one of the most despicable vehicles you could see. Let's take a look at this Matt Maxwell package called Car Segment. Or don't touch my chassis. Buenas noches Pepperdine. This is Matthew Maxwell coming in to show you off another wonderful and unique car of Pepperdine. Uh, this one was actually uh, around back as far as the Reagan era. So if any of you guys can actually remember that, here's a little blast from the past. This is the 1988 Volvo 740 GL. <laughs> And uh, now we have the owner of this wonderful car. Uh, his name is Alex. So, Alex, how did you acquire this fantastic machine? You know, early on in my career in Pepperdine, I was going to Biola, visiting a friend, going to an off-campus barbecue, and there was, some, there was an elderly couple following their gender roles. Woman was sewing the seat, fixing the upholstery a little bit. Man was drinking lemonade, relaxing. And uh, they, we talked to him for a little bit, and then they offered, hey, do any of you college boys need a car? To which I said, yes. And they said, how much you look, I said, how much are you looking at? I said, I don't know, we're just hoping to help you guys out, maybe $25? I think my favorite part about this Volvo, I think anyone's favorite part about this Volvo, is the crank sunroof. You ever seen a crank sunroof? You ain't seen no crank sunroof. I have not. You know, I don't have stacks on stacks of money, so I can't afford that high square footage apartment. There's closet number three for you, right there. Store anything you want. There's actually, it pops up here for contraband. My goodness, look at that. We found out that this car had a very vital role in, uh, in your uh, holy matrimony. Uh, would you please be kind enough to elaborate about that? Choosing the getaway car is not an easy task. Friends, you know, rent an old Rolls Royce or take their dad's Jaguar. I felt like if I was going to take my bride off in one vehicle, one set of wheels, it could only be Fiero. Fiero. Nothing but hot Latin passion in this getaway car. This is Matthew Maxwell saying, Buenas noches, Pepperdine. I think that's a sexy vehicle. Camilla, what does this video do to you once again? I mean, I would just love to ride him. Excuse me, I mean the vehicle. Oh, I would just oh, love riding to ride in, in Oh, vehicle. of course, of it's course. It's highly yeah. enticing. Naturally. those dollar bills underneath. Oh, yeah, I bet. Amber, would you ever jump into that man's vehicle if he said to you, let's go for a ride? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the star in there? No, I'd rather be alone. Oh, my I'll God. I'll take the star on my back line. I mean, uh, with me in the vehicle. <laughs> Piggyback style. Exactly. Well, thank, now we know that we'll do that this weekend. Guys, from everyone here at Buenas Noches Pepper, and it's been a great season and a great segment, I'm sorry. Stay tuned for next week. As always, from everyone here at Buenas Noches Pepperdine. Buenas, Buenas noches. noches. And we'll Buenas see you in two weeks. Allí dos. Bye, guys. How about that camera? camera. Yes, hello.